In this quick demonstration, I'll show you three examples on how to perform conversions between units with the prefixes ranging from pico to mega. The following table provides the prefix, symbol, and meaning of the required units. We'll refer back to this table as we complete each question. Question number one reads, convert 28 kilograms to milligrams. The first thing that you have to do is identify the multiplier for both of the units. The multiplier for kilograms is 10 to the power of 3, and the multiplier for milligrams is 10 to the power of negative 3, as shown right there. Now, since we are going from kilograms to milligrams, we are going to take the exponent of this multiplier and subtract from the exponent of this multiplier. Here's what I mean. 3 minus negative 3. And it's very important to realize that, that it's always the exponent of the unit that you have minus the one that you're going to get. So we have 3 minus negative 3, and that gives us positive 6. And what this positive 6 tells us is that our number 28, which has a decimal place after the 8, that decimal place will move to the right 6 times. And if we move it 6 times to the right, as shown, that's 3, 4, 5, and 6, you're going to end up with 6 more zeros after that 8. So in other words, your final answer is 28 million milligrams is the same thing as 28 kilograms. Let's move on to question number two. In question number two, they are asking us to convert 127 nanometers to micrometers. Once again, we'll identify the multipliers for nanometers, and as shown in this table, 10 to the power of negative 9, and the multiplier for micrometers, as shown in this table, this symbol right here, is 10 to the power of negative 6. Now, since we are going from nanometers to micrometers, we'll be subtracting minus 9 from minus 6. And if we do that, we end up with negative 3. Now, what this negative 3 tells us is that our number, 127 decimal, that decimal will move to the left three times. So we end up with a number that looks like this, 0 0.127 micrometers. And if we want to convert this number into scientific notation, it's very easy to do that. We'll write down 1.27, put a decimal in between the first two numbers, times 10 to the power of negative 1 micrometers. Let's move on to question number three. Here, the question is asking to convert 326 micrograms to kilograms. Micrograms is a multiplier of 10 to the power of negative 6, and kilograms has a multiplier of 10 to the power of positive 3. Now, since we are going from micro to kilo, we're going to take minus 6 and subtract it from 3, and we end up with negative 9. And what this number tells us is that our number, 326, that decimal place will move 9 times to the left. And if that happens, we end up with this number, 0 0.60326 kilograms. And if we convert this into scientific notation, we end up with 3.26 times 10 to the power of negative 7 kilograms. And so there you have it. Three examples on how to convert from one unit to another for prefixes ranging from pico to mega. If you found this tutorial helpful, please support our channel by subscribing or by liking this video. If you have any further questions, visit our website at studyforce.com. We're an online service for students seeking free homework help. See you soon.